On June 6th, Governor Baker announced child care could begin reopening during phase two, but with a number of minimum health and safety requirements. Many child care centers are gearing up to be compliant with the new regulations. Municipal producer Yu Xiao Wen visited the Pine Village Preschool Needham location, a Spanish immersive child care center, to find out their situation. On a scorching morning in late July, decorations from wintry March are still on the wall inside the Pine Village Preschool in Needham, marking the last time the facility was bustling with activities for their toddlers and preschoolers. Things will look different when children return on August 3rd for the summer session. Removing some of the materials that are in there that can't easily be sanitized. We're um, changing sort of the layout of the classrooms using shelving to create additional sort of spaces and centers where children, you know, where they're more likely to work in twos or smaller groups. Some safety measures begin before the children walk into the facility. We are going to have a screening area for the parents and the kids and just here in the front of the, the door. Uh, parents are not going to be allowed to come in the school for summer. We're probably still going to take temperatures there even though we're not required. It's just one extra kind of precaution and um, parents also have to give us a list as do teachers every morning of uh, that they've filled out with sort of uh, indicating that they've had no symptoms and there's a whole list of symptoms um, and children will wash their hands when they go into the classroom. We are going to have inside and outside shoes so they are going to have a space here to change shoes or if they need to change clothes or something and then go into the classrooms. Under the State Department of Early Education and Care's guidelines, the maximum group size is restricted to 10 children. Face masks are required only when six feet of physical distancing is impossible. That's going to be very difficult. Kids, they, they want to play and they, they need the, the physical contact. So we are going to try to keep small groups in each area. Outside, they are going to wear masks. The teachers are going to wear masks the whole time. Each kid is going to have individual bags and boxes with um, painting material and art crafts. One of the challenges for daycare teachers is to keep emotionally connected with kids while being cautious. Our kids are used to get hugs and kisses and uh, being hugged by the, by the teachers. And that's one of the questions that our teachers made. How are they going to comfort the kids when, when he's crying or he's upset or he's sad? For daycare operators, the financial prospect is still an uncertainty. We've not collected tuition since we closed. Um, and we also, you know, did pay our teachers for a couple of weeks, which was what we could do. Pine Village Preschool co-founder Britt Martin predicted that the fall enrollment would be 10% lower than last year. People may still be a little slow in September, you know, even if they have committed already because there's so many factors in that again i think you know they're still going to test the waters you know parents in september to see how comfortable they are what they feel like their child's experience is and also then you know their own uh, if they have older siblings what's happening with the public schools what's happening with other private schools there's so many factors that make it very difficult to like predict for the Indian channel news i'm new xiaoyuan